What's happening people? I'm out and about again and I am still in Whitby. Now I'm having a bit of a nightmare uploading videos because the hotel Wi-Fi didn't do it, just didn't cut it and I've been to the Witherspoons here to try use their Wi-Fi to upload it and I'm not sure if it's because it's 4k video but it's just taken an hour while I were having a cup of tea to get to 11% so today's video at the time I'm filming here Wednesday it's probably not going to be coming out. I was planning on staying in Whitby and doing a couple of food reviews today but unfortunately it looks like I'm only going to get one because I have got another leg of this adventure but I need to get the videos out so it's a bit of a bad one so if there is a missed day then I apologize but hopefully it'll be worth it so where am I going I hear you say well you guys will have seen the thumbnail and the title so you will know before me because currently at the time of filming I have no idea I was planning on going to the Fisherman's Wife, which was just by my hotel, but because of the Wi-Fi issues and uploading the videos, I was try I've come all the way down into Whitby. I'm currently stood at the port of Whitby. Look at this. It's a lovely, brisk March day. It's currently Wednesday, the 28th of March. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. So... <clears throat> Everybody obviously wanted me to go to the Magpie Cafe. Everybody says the Magpie, the Magpie, the Magpie, but I feel like every other food reviewer on YouTube has done the Magpie. It's not going to change much, is it? So I'm going to go to the Fisherman's Wife. Um, I think you get a bit of a, a nice view on the Fisherman's Wife. So it, sounds, it always sounds weird, that, doesn't it? You know that's going to be the title, don't you? I went to, the, I went to see the Fisherman's Wife for fish and chips in Whitby. <laughs> Right, so I'm currently, like I say, at the port, so we've got quite a walk to the other side of Whitby to do it, so come along for the, for the walk and we'll, uh, we'll get to the fisherman's wife and hopefully have some lovely fish and chips before I go somewhere for the next adventure. And I know I'm doing a lot of fish and chips on this, on this uh, channel recently, but that is only because I am in the, I'm at the seaside and when you're at the seaside, you've got to have fish and chips, haven't you? You've just got to. So, this is the tourist information centre here. Whitby Harbour Office and tourist information. So let's get out of here. I'm just going to nip into this cup and get a drink for the walk. Like I say, although it's cold, it's a really nice day. And then we'll go to the fish, see the fisherman's wife, see what she's got to say. So I've just been into the co-op and got myself a Mountain Dew. Can't go wrong with the Mountain Dew, can you? Oh, beautiful. I'm just stood outside the fish box here. And that is the first fish and chip shop I've seen coming this way from the tourist information. But let me tell you, coming the other way, I must have seen 50. I've never seen a town like this. Even Blackpool, never never seen a town like this with so many fish and chip shops, one after another. Might even count them on the way back and tell you how many there actually was. Come on then, let's uh, let's keep going. We'll have to see the fisherman's wife. Okay, so you've got the star in here, fish and chip shop. Straight across the way you've got Macy Brown's, which is a coffee and breakfast place. The um, train station across there. You've got Trenchers, which is a big time fish and chip shop. The station in there actually is a, uh, is a mixer pub, you guys that know. Let me just thank you all again, because I've got about 13 or 14 five pound vouchers. So I hope you all got your five pound vouchers and your free drinks, so hopefully it's worked well for you guys as well. Don't let the secret out. Share your code with your friends and you'll get another five pound voucher and they'll get a five pound voucher as well. All right, let's keep going.
that is the Angel Hotel, which is a Weatherspoons, but also a Weatherspoons hotel. And they've got dreadful Wi-Fi. <laughs> Let me tell you. Then just up the side of the Angel Hotel is another fishing chip shop called the Angel Fisheries. And Hetty and Betty, which is also another chip shop there. But there, the Angel Fisheries there. Look at that. Now, according to a Simply Whitby, a Whitby channel, which I, uh, I, I watch, um, that is a very, very, very good and underrated chippy. I will definitely be back in Whitby. Look at this. Even Hetty Betty, the home of the afternoon tea. Look at this. Even afternoon teas, fish and chips here in Whitby. So, I'll definitely be coming back. So don't panic. So, but what I need you to do is get in the comments and let me know when I do come back where to go. Because, like I say, I'm only going to have time for one food review on this on this journey because I need to get these videos uploaded. So I need to go to my next destination. I'll tell you at the end where my next destination is. Well, let's get on here now to the fisherman's wife. You've got Papa's right in front of you as well. Here, look. So you've got the Whitby catch there. Right next door, Terry's fish bar. The pier, which is a pub. Hot dog stand. <laughs> Bacon sandwiches. Quayside, fish and chips. Very expensive that place is. And then the famous Magpie Cafe up here. The Magpie ain't even opened yet and there's already a queue. Does that mean it's good, or does that just mean it's famous? I know it's famous. Maybe I'll get Mrs. Dino over here in the summer, and we'll uh, we'll take her in there. I've got to see the fisherman's wife. So you can get this uh, open top tour bus of Whitby for £8.50. I did see it this morning when I uh, checked out my hotel. What do you think for that? It's an hour and they talk to you about Whitby. What do you think to that? There's another chip shop here, Mr Chips, and a little fairground for the kids. And then obviously this pier area. And the um, fisherman's wife is just behind these buildings here. Have a look at this. There it is, the fisherman's wife, 
seafood restaurant, award winning fish and chips. I wonder how many of the 50 fish and chip shops I've just seen say award winning. I wonder how many awards they're given out to Whitby fish and chips each year. Probably a lot, but this is what it is. So I'm not going to film walking in. But I'm going to get myself a little boot. My hotel, for, for reference, was right up there. You had to walk up and down there. But it was a fantastic view and a nice hotel. If you haven't seen that video, I don't know what's coming out first. We'll see though. But here it is, the fisherman's wife. So let's get in and order some fish and chips, a cup of tea, mushy peas. Oh, curry sauce. Just a bit stiff. Hi, are you all right? Just, yeah. just me. Yeah, no. I thought you, I thought you'd put open on the door then, and it won't. I think the door's just a bit sticky. Oh, right. Oh, like it's, it's locked. <laughs> just sit anywhere. Put, put them somewhere. Yeah, that's a bit too dark if you shut that door now, all okay? Right, fine, that cheers. Hello, you want to see me? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, so, there is music on in the background, so I might have to make this brief and keep talking. The, um, and I'll be sat right next to the speaker. For some reason, these flashing lights are, I don't know if it's because of, the the view out the back but um i'm just going to go for a small haddock and chips today they do fry everything in beef dripping which is fantastic 12.99 15 99 99 yeah can i just get the small haddock and chips please yeah, can, yeah. would you like any mushy peas or garden peas or anything like that? i'll have mushy peas please and can i have a portion of, of curry sauce please yeah, as well. small haddock and chips and mushy peas and curry sauce and to drink um i'll have a cup of tea please and a tea any ketchup or tartar at all? Yeah. Um, a little bit of tartar sauce, oh, but no ketchup on it. Is that everything? Yeah, that's it. Cheers. Ta. Thank you very much, then. Ta. Are you ready? So there you go. I went for small cod and chip. No, small haddock and chip, sorry. They do do cod. One size, sixteen ninety nine. You guys have a look at the menu now, because I've just ordered. Right, okay, I will bring you about when the food comes because I'll try to get a little circle of this little restaurant. Maybe I should have done the um maybe I should have done the, the takeaway and sit outside because it's not actually that bad a day. We will see. Nice view out the back. In fact, let's take you out the back. Look at this. This is your view from the chip shop. Oh, 
all the tables right here. I mean, I'll be honest. The door is open. It's not cold, but the um, the sound of that kid's ride is a bit annoying. But she said if I'm annoyed by it or the wind or it's cold, she can shut the door, no problem. But look at this view. Right, okay, my cup of tea has just arrived, so what I'm going to do is I'll bring you back when the food's here, give you guys a little close look at the food, and then we'll have a little munch. I'm going to just have a look at the footage to make sure that the music's not too bad for me to film. I don't like doing voiceovers, but this might be one of the times where I have to. We'll see. Have a look at this fish and chips. Right, here we go, the food is here. You guys take a closer look at this. Right, first things first, we get rid of that pit. We'll get this let me feel this let me feel this batter. Doesn't look that crispy. I'm gonna avoid putting a lemon on today because I'm worried about the crispiness of it. We're gonna start with these chips though. Cooked in beef dripping, remember. Look very, very good. I'm not sure what's going on with this screen today. I think I'm sat in an awkward position, but you don't get to choose where you sit. She placed me here. So it's, I can see lines on the screen flashing. I hope that don't come out on the video. Oh, well, these chips, very nice. Definitely not overdone. Mm. What I'd call an old fashioned chip, that. Really nice. A bit worried about the curry sauce, it looks very dark and very spicy. Um, but we're going to go straight in with it. Very watery, that curry sauce is. Smells quite nice. It is very watery. It's not spicy, but... <clears throat> when I say it's not spicy, it's got a little bit of a kick to the back of the throat there. For me, I like the more greener colour and like with a bit thicker consistency. But that's just me. I'll go with these mushy peas now. Similar mushy peas to the ones I had at um, where the air fish and chips last time. I knew it was surprising. Where did I go for fish and chips? I can't remember. Decent. Nice flavour, nice consistency. There's about four different music stations going on. We've got the music from outside, the music from the fairground, the music that's coming from it in here. This is good. My, I can just see this being an absolute nightmare. So I'm going to get on with it as fast as I can. <clears throat> Straight into this fish. 
It's, it, it feels more breaded than battered, but it does say it's fried in beef dripping. It's definitely not overcooked, that's for sure. Wow. It does look like a nice piece. It's only small, remember. Nice piece of haddock, that. Look at that. Wow. Steaming hot. Although it's a small piece, it's definitely a, a high quality piece of haddock that. It's really tasty. The batter's really nice. Beef dripping. You can't beat beef dripping, can you? Curry's a bit. Only, only bit that's letting me down a little bit. But. It's not too bad. Let's try some of this. Um, homemade tartar sauce and it comes in a separate ramekin put a bit on there cut a bit of fish off and have a little go at this tartar sauce Boom. that's quite nice it's um I can really taste the capers in there. Really fishy. Compliments of fish bowl. Right. In case this um, music is uh, too much for the video and these lines, whatever they are, whatever they are um, I'm going to just get on with eating this just in case I need to do a voiceover. So I'll see you guys outside and we'll, we'll rate the fisherman's wife. <laughs> Thank you, see you later. Thank you, see you later. So that was the fisherman's wife. What did you guys think to that? The total price of that was £19.38. It was a small haddock and chips at £12.99, mushy peas £1.95, curry sauce £1.95, and a pot of tea, which you got two cups out of, two pound and forty nine pence, total nineteen thirty eight. Um, I left a cash tip, but I paid on my card. Here's a copy of the receipt, so you can see it. So, what did you think to that? I'm not sure how the videos panned out, so I'm a bit, a little bit peeved off at the moment, but not with the quality of food. That was really, really nice. The quality of food was really, yeah, but it was massively tasty. The chips were some of the best chips I've ever had. The fish probably would have liked it to be battered a little bit longer for me, but uh, there were plenty there for a small portion as well. The tartar sauce was lovely, very caper, heavy, very very fishy, very nice. Um, is it the best fish and chips I've ever had? No. Is it very good? Yes. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Now, let's not confuse the scale here. That's a fish and chip shop. This is not a pub. So if I'm giving Weatherspoon's fish and chips 9 out of 10, and giving this eight and a half, it doesn't mean that this is worse than Weatherspoons because it's not. This is better than Weatherspoons. Different scale, pub lunch, and this is a, an actual fish and chip shop. Remember that going forward because I'm going to be going to more actual fish and chip shops. I have seen your comments, um, so I will be following up on them. Do I wish I'd gone to the Magpie? Maybe. I'm not sure. The only problem with that was, was the music was so loud. It wasn't on when I first walked in, so I was happy. Got seated into a little table. <sighs> I, I, I said, can I sit anywhere? And she just went, no, I'll, I'll put you here. And I was just like, I felt a bit, I felt a bit bad by saying, can I, can I take a booth? Because I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a loud mouth YouTuber and I'm going to film your fish and chips and I'll need lots of space. So I just, I just did, did as my told, did I, so I just did as I was told and uh, sat where I was told and sat where I was put. So it was a bit hard and for some reason they were like flashing lights. I don't know if that were from their lights or what, but that's not their problem, is it? Don't affect the food. If you're going there, I advise you to go there. It's very, very nice. Eight and a half out of ten. The fisherman's wife. 
the fisherman's wife gets a yes from Dino. So now I'm off to Scarborough. I was planning on doing the humble pie shop here, but I don't have time now because I've got a video that I can't upload anywhere in Whitby. The Wi-Fi everywhere in Whitby is terrible. So I'm off to Scarborough. So that's where you'll see me tomorrow in Scarborough. I was going to um, attempt to walk from here in Whitby to Robin Hood's Bay and try some more fishing chips in Robin Hood's Bay. But I just don't have the time now. I'm going to have to use some sort of transport, whether it be a bus or a train. I'll, uh, I'll have to have a little Google. But next time you see me, will be tomorrow, and I'll be in Scarborough. Thanks for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you tomorrow in Scarborough. See you then.